Yesterday, when we first got to the boat, I spent two hours replacing duckbill valves on the uh, on one of the toilets on the boat. And before I get into that too deeply, I got to read the first line of the instructions for Sealand duckbill valve installation instructions. Uh, number one: flush a substantial amount of so soapy water through the pump. As I mentioned, it's for our, uh, our toilet. We have two heads on this boat and they're both vacuum flush. Um, hence the warning that you should flush substantial amounts of soapy water through the system first because we all know what flows through the lines on the toilet. Uh, unmentionable stuff. Anyways, the reason why I had to uh, play with those things yesterday for two hours down in the darkest depths of the bilge of this boat underneath the side cabin bed uh, long reach anyways it wasn't a very pleasant job um, which was compounded by the fact of what I found but it's my own fault that I had to do this because last weekend we had some guests on board the boat I won't mention any names but unfortunately I failed to paint a really clear picture of what can and can't go down the toilet for those of you watching at home Two things can go down the toilet. First thing is anything you've eaten and the second thing is a little bit of toilet paper. Just light toilet paper not Charmin or heavy double layered toilet paper or anything else like that because that's going to clog up the system. And so unfortunately, unfortunately what happened was one of the guests, one of the unmentioned guests from last weekend um, flushed uh, what appeared to be a uh, one of those moist towelettes or, or wipes down the toilet and uh, got stuck in not one but both of these duckbill valves. So the problem there resulted uh, in the fact that the pump couldn't uh, keep a prime on the vacuum or at least it couldn't build enough vacuum to suck everything through. So <laughs> given the fact that, that went through uh, uh, the stuff that came through afterwards wasn't quite disposed of so I have to uh, I had to put the um, shop vac down there and suck it out open it up pull the stuff out the offending materials out and suck it out so anyways it's all fixed and it's all clean now uh, it was a pretty <laughs> job uh, but it's all done so words of wisdom words of warning again two things you can flush down the toilet first of all only something you've ever eaten that's passed through your body naturally and second of all, a little bit of light toilet paper. Uh, no problem to use a lot of toilet paper if you have to, but not all in one sitting, shall we say. Okay, so just regular flushing and everything will move merrily and happily down through the system and into the holding tank, which I have to replace this season. Or sorry, during the off season, but that's another story for another day. So there you have it. My sad story of replacing duckbill valves. And again, you'll notice I didn't mention anything about the guests that may or may not have caused this last weekend because I didn't want to get my granddaughter's parents in trouble. Oops, I said that out loud. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye.